Today I wanted to share with you guys how I create a cozy zone for my morning and my night routines when I'm relaxing and refocusing. First things first is you have to have a cozy place to sit obviously, but the key ingredient are going to be the pillows, which I need to purchase a third one for the opposite side, but I like to mix and match the different textures. And total side decor tip, yes you can mix your whites, but just incorporate a neutral to pull it together. Something I think people look past when creating a cozy space is adding those personal touches whether it's crystals or little unique pieces of home decor. Yes, it's more of a decorating tip, but if you incorporate things that you truly love and when you look over and you just get inspired by, it makes that zone so much better. Another tip for storage, you can use decorative vases like I did here for incense and also it keeps it smelling good when they aren't lit because they're out in the open. I also have trays with little quotes all over the place. Before I settle into my zone, I like to really set the vibe and for me that means scents and lighting so I light all the candles throughout my entire office or wherever I'm deciding to sit and focus on my day. I didn't sage my office this time but I do like to have it on hand next to my candles just in case I want to. The last thing I like to do before I settle in and get to work is light an incense and in the morning I do this green tea one that my friend Tamara gifted me. This video is actually inspired by her. Check out her Instagram down below. She's an interior designer. So I like to light that up and then I bring over my books that set me up for my successful day. I recently incorporated this good advice card stack into my life because of Tamara as well. She gifted it to me and I really love it because if I'm feeling off one day, I just pull a card out from there and it has a nice quote on it that inspires you and puts you back on the right track. In the morning you can see my zone is very light and airy and as we transition to the nighttime, it becomes a little bit more dark and moody. Candles, as you already know, are a must, but the amber glass is just a really warm tone to kind of end the night with. And then I love keeping my sage and these feathers, once again from Tamara, in a clear glass jar because it doesn't feel like it's overtaking the side table. I love having incense going while I'm filling out my gratitude and productivity journal, but when I switch to reading my book for the evening, I like to light some patchouli. What it comes down to is what makes you feel cozy, and I know sometimes, especially myself personally, can cave into the whole like it needs to look aesthetically pleasing like Pinterest all the time, but realistically, you're not going to be showcasing it 24-7 on your social media, so make sure you incorporate what just makes you feel good. That's it for me today. On Sunday, I'm going to mix a Q&A and a project together, so leave some questions down below.